My fellow compatriots, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to greet you all on the occasion of the Independence Day of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Today, the whole world is passing through the COVID-19 pandemic. We had to take uh, adequate precautions, which is why this celebration takes place online. Taking this opportunity, I'd like uh, to thank all healthcare workers, both in Kazakhstan and India, for their tremendous job and the tireless efforts. Dear friends, bilateral relations between Kazakhstan and India have a long history. India takes a special place in the history of Kazakhstan. Uh, just to mention, uh, India was the very first country visited by the first president of the Republic of Kazakhstan, leader of the nation, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, back in 1992. The same year, our diplomatic relations were established. Our cooperation develops on the pillars of friendship, fraternity, partnership, and based on the cultural and the historical affinity and uh, that two nations share in common. High-level bilateral relations are proven by the number of visits at the highest and the high levels. For the last 28 years, the first president of Kazakhstan visited India five times. Indian prime ministers visited Kazakhstan seven times. I'd like to state that we are now working on the first state visit of our president, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, as soon as the situation with the pandemic stabilizes. As the ambassador of my country, nothing gives me more pleasure than to see our bilateral cooperation signifying the strong bonds of strategic partnership that was established in 2009. Effective political cooperation between our states has been ensured due to the similarity of our positions on the major international issues and the problems. Our countries are working closer together on, in such multilateral structures as UN, SICA, SCO and many others. Despite the pandemic, we managed to hold virtually such important events as the political consultations between foreign ministries, meetings of the joint working groups on trade and economic cooperation, on space cooperation, and other uh, uh, dozens of mutual investment forums and cultural events. Our economic growth was, has been steady. I am confident that all these events will help to enhance the flow of goods, trade, and more significantly, people-to-people -people contacts between our nations. Friends, Kazakhstan remains a major trading partner of India in Central Asia and is the second largest in the CIS countries. Our bilateral trade turnover has reached 2.2 billion US dollars in nine months of 2020. Currently, we have five honorary consulates in Kazakhstan, of Kazakhstan in India, operating in Mumbai, Chennai, Gandhinagar, and Kolkata. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity and extend our appreciation to the Indian government for the recent approval of the new appointment of our honorary council in Hyderabad. Dear friends, this year Kazakhstan celebrated two important dates, the 175th anniversary of the great Kazakh poet Abai and the 1150th anniversary of the world-known scientist, thinker Abu Nasr al-Farabi. Their works embody eternity, wisdom, love and faithfulness and continue to attract the attention of both historians and researchers of Kazakhstan literature and history. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity again and extend uh, our appreciation to the ICCR for publishing the famous book of Abai, the Book of Words in Hindi. And uh, of course, we have uh, several more activities and events planned as part of these celebrations. And uh, <clears throat> we hope that uh, this um, installation of Abai's monument in Delhi will be one of them. Dear compatriots, as we celebrate the 29th Independence Day, we look forward uh, to the important milestone ahead, our 30th anniversary of independence next year. Kazakhstan will continue to strive to make the most of every opportunity to raise our strategic partnership to an even higher level. And, uh, feel relations between Kazakhstan and India with a me new meaning and content for the benefit of the friendship and the prosperity of the peoples of our nations. Friends, now I would like to invite you to enjoy short videos about our beautiful Kazakhstan and uh, some cultural performances by the ethnographic orchestra Votrar Saze, violinist, conductor and the founder of the Symphonic Orchestra of India, Mr. Marat Bisingaliev, and the Kazakh State Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet named after Abai. 
I wish you all good health, well-being and prosperity, as well as long-standing friendship uh, to the Brazilian nations of Kazakhstan and India. Thank you. Kazakhstan is a dynamic, progressive, modern state. The heart of Eurasian continent. It was part of the Great Silk Road that connected East and West. It is the birthplace of ancient Turkic states. The country is confidently integrating into the global learning system thanks to a unique educational program, the Bola Shark International Scholarship. According to the UN Human Development Index, Kazakhstan is among the top 50 countries in the world. Men flew into space for the first time from Kazakhstan's Baikonur Cosmodrome. The entire periodic table is concentrated in the depth of Kazakhstan's land. The country is one of the largest producers of grain and flour products, exporting it to more than 120 countries. Kazakhstan is located in the southern part of the temperature climate zone and has all the four seasons. This is the birthplace of apples and tulips, a territory of unique archaeological heritage. The Golden Man and an ancient Bortai settlement were discovered here. They were the first to tame wild horses. And it is the only country in the world where there is the highest skating rink, the largest lake, the biggest sphere, the most gigantic tent. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Namaskaram. It's my honor and pleasure to congratulate the government and the people of Kazakhstan on the occasion of the 29th Independence Day of Kazakhstan. On behalf of the government of India, I wish good health, happiness and prosperity to the people of Kazakhstan on this auspicious day. Kazakhstan will be entering the 30th year of independence, which is a great milestone. Civilizational ties between India and Kazakhstan, however, are much older, going back to more than 2000 years. Renowned Buddhist monks and scholars took Indian ideas to Central Asia, and in turn, Central Asian traditions led to Sufism taking roots in Indian subcontinent. Our bilateral relations got a new vigor following the independence of Kazakhstan, which is reflected in the strong ties at all levels. India and Kazakhstan became strategic partners in 2009. Two visits of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji in 2015 and 2017 have strengthened the existing bonds between India and Kazakhstan. The contribution of First President Nur Sultan, Sultan Nazarbayev in strengthening this partnership is invaluable and President Tokayev has carried forward this legacy. During the last year, there have been several excellent developments which have further strengthened our partnership in all spheres, be it political, economic, trade, or culture. I myself visited your beautiful country in November last year to take part in the Astana Club meeting. Even during the COVID times, our foreign ministers and defense ministers met. Similarly, meetings of institutional mechanisms have also been held through digital video conference mode. This shows the significance of our bilateral partnership. The bilateral trade has also reached the record levels. In the first few months of 2020, the bilateral trade figure was at 2.3 billion US dollars compared to 1.8 billion US dollars in 2019. The numerous bilateral exchanges, even during a period of the pandemic, reflect the strength and depth of the relations between the two countries. India is happy to provide humanitarian assistance to Kazakhstan, including commercial supply of medicines during the pandemic. Kazakhstan celebrated the 175th birth anniversary of its famous poet and philosopher, Abai Kunanbayev. India commemorated the occasion with 
ഐ സി സി ആർ റിലീസിംഗ് ദി ഹിന്ദി വേർഷൻ ഓഫ് അഭയ് കുനൻ ബൈവ്സ് ബുക്ക് ഓഫ് വേർഡ്സ് കോൾഡ് ശബ്ദ മഞ്ജൂഷ ഇൻ ഖസാക്കിസ്ഥാൻ അവർ മിഷൻ ഹാസ് റിലീസ്ഡ് ദി ഓട്ടോബയോഗ്രഫി ഓഫ് മഹാത്മാ ഗാന്ധി ഇൻ കസാക്ക് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഓൺ ദി ഒക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റിയത്ത് ബർത്ത് ആനിവേഴ്സറി ഐ റീകോൾ ദാറ്റ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് മൈ വിസിറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ ടു കസാക്കിസ്ഥാൻ ഐ ഹാഡ് ദി ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ടു റിലീസ് ദ പോസ്റ്റൽ സ്റ്റാമ്പ് ഓഫ് മഹാത്മാ ഗാന്ധി ഐ എം താങ്ക്ഫുൾ ടു ദി കസാക്ക് അതോറിറ്റീസ് ഫോർ പബ്ലിഷിംഗ് എ പോസ്റ്റൽ സ്റ്റാമ്പ് ഇൻ ദി ഓണർ ഓഫ് ദി ഫാദർ ഓഫ് അവർ നേഷൻ ഐ വൺസ് അഗൻ കൺഗ്രാജുലേറ്റ് കസാക്കിസ്ഥാൻ on the occasion of its 29th independence day and wish the upcoming years will further strengthen and deepen the warm and friendly ties between india and kazakhstan thank you уважаемый ирлан алтынбаевич дорогие друзья от имени коллектива казахского государственного академического театра оперы и балета имени абая и от своего имени выражаю искренние слова поздравления по случаю празднования Дня независимости Республики Казахстан в далекой и прекрасной Индии. В день этого знаменательного события хотим пожелать вам благополучия, процветания и мирного неба народам наших стран. В это непростое время Казахский театр оперы и балета имени Абая весьма интенсивно проводил огромное количество онлайн-мероприятий, расширяя свою зрительскую аудиторию не только в Казахстане, но и далеко за ее пределами. Однако ни один онлайн-концерт не может сравниться с живым выступлением. Мы искренне надеемся на то, что вскоре это вновь станет реальным, и нашим творческим коллективам снова предоставится возможность выступить перед великолепной публикой Индии. Сегодня в исполнении артистов театра прозвучит отрывок из оперы Ахмета Жубанова и Латыфа Хамиди «Абай», которая давно признана жемчужной казахской оперной культуры. Наслаждайтесь прекрасной музыкой, дорогие друзья, и до новых встреч!
құрметті отандастар, қадырменді үндістандықтар, Қазақстанның үндістандағы елшілігі Қазақстан Республикасының тәуелсіздік күні мерекесін атап өтуіне байланысты. Сіздерді 80 жылдан астам тарихы бар Қорқтата атындағы Қызылорда университеті құттықтайды. Алдағы уақытта үргелі оқу орны қалқаралық ынтымақтастықтың көк жиегін кеңінен жайып, арамыздағы білім мен ғылымды, өнер мен мәденетті бірлесе дамытамыз деген ойдамын. Екі елдің арасындағы достығымыз берік болсын. Сіздердің назарларыңызға дидар қалықтық фольклорлық этнографиялық ансамблінің орындауында Ақкете Шерниаздың сөз сөйлейін бөлмелеп термесін Қазақстан Республикасы мәденет қайраткері жырау Руслан Жумабайылы Ахметовтың орындауында қабыл алыңыздар. Қазақстан <gülüyor> Айында шалқар көл керек, көл шағалай қолуға, бұғыр үшіпті жер керек, ер шытыне шау кесе, көп көліде ер керек, ер астына мәнетін бәйгеде бермес сұр керек, ердің ешап сәкеш қозғар, алдың алса сәтөз қозғар, ұзақ шылтарлан тармығын айғыз қадам ойны ер сұр көжеген. Сөз болса, мен жылда уақым армын, аттан аттың есі келі, өзі қатлан көп болса, ерлерден ердің есі келі, айтыға сөзде ет болса, жалы бір кеттен ойынын ад, арғыма қақта шыл алмас, нартан тұған жан болса, ар сәгіре сал алмас, көлексіз болса ер жігіт, жалғыз сендік тап алмас, жалғыз сендісі мұ алмас, көптен бізді жол алмас, асыл сөйдің баласы, тартысқан жердес сөз Жаманды түрестінен ит табар, екі сұқтан ит болса, бұй алдырмас құраданды, екі шығыт тек болса, ат жебенбес арадан, қандасын қайғысы қарапты жүрер даладан, заманда келді қырнан, қанды жеде бұрыннан, сөйлеп қалған түнмен жақ құрғы алдырмай, ырымнан ей. Дорогие соотечественники, поздравляю вас с знаменательной датой, с Днем Независимости Казахстана. Огромный привет вам от всех моих коллег, музыкантов, которые поднимают, помогают в развитии западной классической музыки в Индии. Вот. И мы бы хотели вам представить небольшой отрывок с симфоническим оркестром Индии. Все самые наилучшие пожелания. Всего вам доброго.
Құрметті отандастар, үнділік достар, Қазақстанның үндістандағы елшілігі Қазақстан Республикасы тәуелсіздік мерекесін атап өтуіне байланысты, осы атаулы мерекемен Қазақтың жамбыл атындағы мемлекеттік филармониясы баршаңызды құттықтайды. Екі елдің арасындағы достық нұғая берсін. Қазіргі таңда Нұрғысат Лендиев атындағы мемлекеттік академиялық фолклорлы этнографиялық отырар саз оркестрі онлайн режимде жұмыс істеуде. Алдағы уақытта ғажайып үндістанға сапар шегіп, үнді көрермендерінің алдында қазақтың музыка мәдениетін паш етеміз деп сенемін. Қазір сіздердің назарларыңызға Нұрғысат Лендиевтің қалқуаншы шығармасын ұсынамыз.